Hey guys, it's Mr. Kilburn, and I'm going to work through an example dealing with rotations. I'm going to talk about rotations of 90 clockwise and counterclockwise, um, 180, 270, and just touch on those and explain um, what a rotation is, what it isn't, and really just kind of, rather than look at it as I've got to memorize some rule, just stop and think about what, it hap what happens, what it means, and kind of go from there. See how it goes, right? Okay, so first of all, this question reads, on the graph to the right, uh, point A needs to be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. Obviously, counterclockwise is important. Where is A prime located? Okay, first of all, so you, there's digital clocks in all the classrooms now. So looking at analog clocks, seeing what the second hand is doing, thinking about what clockwise and counterclockwise even means may be kind of challenging. But like you guys, many, most of you don't wear watches, and it's all just digital. So uh, back in the back when I was a child, um, there was a clock that looked like so. And there's 12 and 3, 6, 9, back to 12. All right? The clock goes in this direction. So that's clockwise. And this would be counterclockwise. Okay? So the blue is clockwise, the green is counterclockwise. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So they want us to go counterclockwise. So something that looks like that. All right. So how do I do it? Well, it's getting rotated counterclockwise 90 degrees. Now, it's called 90 degrees not just because it's some kind of random number, it's because it's making a right angle, a 90 degree angle, from the pre-image, the center of rotation, and where it's gonna end up, okay? So it's actually making a right angle. It's not just, again, not just a number. So if you're not, if you don't remember a rule how to rotate a certain direction, Okay? Just make a right angle. All right, so if point A is here, I'm going to connect to this center of rotation. Right, Just like a, a tire, there's a center that everything's going around. So I connect my pre-image to the center of rotation, and I make a 90 degree angle. Now, this is a multiple choice question. So I'm just going to make a right angle about the same length as the other one here and just kind of see how close I get to some one of these choices. All right, so I made what looks like a so-so looking right angle, and I look at my choices. What, what are the choices for my answers? Well, negative seven, two. Well, negative seven, two is right here. It didn't end up there. Two, seven is right here. Well, that looks like a pretty good candidate. That's really pretty close to where I ended up. And then seven, two is right here, well, nowhere near that. And negative two, seven, is right here and I'm nowhere near that so it looks like a good choice for this to be is going to be 2 7 okay and that is in fact the case all right so that's how that's rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise now if I let me change colors here okay so suppose I wanted to go 90 degrees clockwise all right I'm gonna go in this direction well, I'm still going to make a 90 degree angle, pre-image point, center of rotation, and then make a 90 degree angle. All right, right there. And I end up, at, in this case, negative 2, negative 7. All right, so that's why they had choice D, is even if a student knew how to do a 90 degree rotation, in this case, they would have gone clockwise. So it's good they know how to rotate 90 degrees, but you got to be sure you uh, pay attention to the question and rotate the, ter the correct direction they want you to rotate. All right, what else do I want to touch on here? Um, okay, how about, suppose we want to do a 180. All right, so for a 180, um, I don't know, there's how many degrees in a straight line? Well, 180. So all I need to do is, once again, start here, go to my center of rotation, and then keep going the same distance, All right? So I would end up right there. And that makes sense because that is a half a circle. So it doesn't matter if I'm going counterclockwise or clockwise, I would end up in the same spot. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think, end there. Um, hopefully that helps. So again, rotations, 90 degrees, 180, we're not just making up random numbers, it's because that is the um, angle of measure of that rotation. 
it makes a 90 degree angle. It makes a 180 degree straight angle, whatever the case may be. All right, guys, hope that helped. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Take care.